Hey everyone, you're listening to 10 Minute Scriptures. This is Tim with the Word of Life Church. As always, hope everyone's doing well. Today we're going to be in the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, and we're going to start at verse 10. Uh, let's get started. It says, My son, good words to anyone here, it says, My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. If you're walking in the will of God, last place you want to start, back once again. If sinners entice thee, don't go back down that road again because I've said many, many times, there's nothing for you back there. Carry on. If you, as we say, once you grab a hold of the plow and you start forward, there's nothing back. If you, if, you turn your, if you turn back, let go of the plow and turn back, you're not fit for the kingdom of God. Like I said, there's nothing back there for you. All destruction, misery, the flames of hell, and everlasting punishment. No, convince the sinners to go forth in the way that you're walking. Amen. In verse 11, it says, you scroll down here, it says, They say, come with us, let us lay wait for blood. Will people say that? Maybe not in so many words, but some might. Some people that we've dealt with in the past and some people that we've talked about and spiritual warfare and the, the the way that people are today and behind the scenes <laughs> some might actually and they do say that but if it says come with us let us lay wait for blood let us lurk privily for the innocent without cause without cause just because they want to see someone fall they want to see someone in blood the, the works are evil. Folks, we are in that day today. This is it was talking about back then. There's nothing new under the sun. We are in the same same shape today. The, the side of darkness is in control of this generation. Now, don't God's in control and He only allows certain things, but Satan so the prince of this world, uh, he is the prince of this generation, this eon. When it talks about world, it talks about this this worldly system, this this age. The, the, the world is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The, the, the world belongs to the Lord, but the prince of this world, Satan, the prince of the power of the air, has a little bit of space and control during this time. But we know how to fight him, right? If we're saved for the Holy Ghost of God, we know how to fight him. We resist the devil. He will, he'll flee from us. But he's still. He lays in wait. He goes about as a roaring lion. All these fallen angels that are under his control, the demonic spirits, the unclean spirits, the evils, it goes on. There's, there's, there's many, many things that we battle. But we're equipped. Amen. It says in verse 12, it says, Let us swallow them up alive as the grave and, and whole as those that go down into the pit. It says, We shall find all precious substance. We shall fill our houses with spoil. Substance stuff. Worship. The stuff. Thing. That's, that, there's it there again. Never have we seen a time, and that's a, a when it talks about that knowledge would increase. Now I believe that is a blanket statement of many things, of the age that we're in, of the technology and the things that we have these days, but also along with the knowledge of the Word of God and other things along with that, of everything in existence. But never have time we've seen such things <laughs> to take men's minds and their souls away from the worship and adoration and salvation from the Lord Jesus. And they put their mind on stuff. We shall fill our houses with spoil. 
It says, cast in thy lot among us, let us all have one purse. It said, my son, walk not thou in the way with them. Refrain thy foot from their path. All going to lead to one place. Have all the stuff you want. You can have all the, the, the works that you think, that they think it's going to save them in the end. It's going to give them a throne in hell in the end, as some of these Luciferians believe and these Satanists believe. <laughs> it's going to lead them straight to everlasting torture and punishment and judgment and separation from God and all that's good forever because they're being lied to by this prince of the power of the air. He said, for their feet run to evil and make haste to shed blood. Same thing. Nothing new under the sun. Same as today. Even worse today. Getting worse. Had to be put. Well, there were other reasons for the flood to come, but even worse back in the, the, to the point that only eight people, the entire world, but eight people say, think about that and see that today the way it is. People are ready to go to war so bad they can almost taste it. But there's puppet masters behind the scene controlling these things. The rulers of the darkness of this world. Surely in vain the net, the net is spread in the sight of any bird. And they lay wait for their own blood. They lurk privily for their own lives. So are the ways of everyone that is greedy of gain which taketh away the life of the owners thereof. They wants what the other person have. Never satisfied with what they have. I want what they have. Well, Lord, I thank you for what I have. I, I thank you for all that you've given me. But why do they have that? I want that. Why can't I have that? Never satisfied. Wisdom crieth, verse one. Wisdom crieth without, she uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief place of concourse in the openings of the gates and in the city. She uttered her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity and the scorners delight in their scorning? And fools hate knowledge. That's one thing we know is that fools hate knowledge. It's like saying fools are someone that is ignorant of something. You can be ignorant, and that's not something bad. You're just, you don't understand or don't know something. And once you learn, you're not ignorant to that fact anymore. But some people want to be a fool about something. You want to be ignorant willingly about something. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you because I have called and ye refused I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded oh folks friends what a generation we live in now that that verse is appropriate God is stretching out his hand it seems like no man's regarding the hand of salvation is outstretched through the Lord Jesus Christ, but no man is regarding. People want to live in this world in the pleasures of sin. They love pleasures more than they love God. And it was foretold that it would be that way before the coming of the Son of God, the return of the Son of God. Amen. If you've not been saved, the Lord is calling you. Accept the Lord Jesus as your personal Savior, and he will save you. All that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you've backslidden on the Lord, come back to him before it's everlasting too late. You know, the time is running short. Come back to him. This has been 10 Minute Scriptures with Tim from the Word of Life Church. Take care.
God bless you all, and we will see you in the next video. Bye now.